all know that Tamil Nadu has got a very active IT minister and uh, Mr. Manu Tankaraj, you are here for Jitex 2022. And we all know that uh, Tamil Nadu is one of the emerging startup ecosystem in India. Yes. So we have visited some of the pavilions here. So when you, uh, you know, evaluate the whole startup ecosystem of India and when coming to specifically to Tamil Nadu, how do you see that startup growth of your state? Yeah, we are strongly working on that. But we need to still uh, uh, move ahead in a faster pace. Yeah. That's why we are uh, um, um, looking at all these kind of uh, expo kind of thing and seeing how best we can do to the yeah. people of uh, Tamil Nadu. At present, we have a, a good number of uh, startups, not only in uh, Chennai, but in entire two and entire three cities. And we are trying to um, establish more number of uh, research um, uh, centers kind of thing so that we'll be able to support them. We're trying to uh, link them with the angel investors yeah. and uh, we are trying to um, uh, support them with the other financial uh, supports, whatever that can be given to them. Anyway, next month we are going to launch an IT and hub. That's also going to work with the startups and innovations. That will also be a milestone, I think. Okay, uh, and as you mentioned, Chennai is something established in that uh, startup uh, yes. ecosystem. So when coming to Madurai or any other tier two, tier three cities, so what are the you know activities government going to take to improve that? As far as Tamil Nadu is concerned, the main uh, um, uh, the strength I say that is we have a very stable government. That is first thing, yeah. and a very strong visionary leader of this now. And uh, apart from this, you look at the infrastructures. It's about connectivity or it's about road, it's about port or whatever it is. In the Tier 2, Tier 3 cities, even they have the similar kind of things that exist in the main cities. So that's a very good uh, strength we are seeing. And the other uh, thing is the talent pool. Uh, in Tamil Nadu, wherever you go, you will find people with good talents. That's a very important thing and uh, consistently we are working on that to increase the uh, talent pool of uh, Tamil Nadu. When coming to this technology part, we know that there is no startups can exist without technology. Yes. But also, apart from that, there is a you know a long history of service-based startups. Also, many examples are there in Tamil Nadu. In a government perspective, do you have any sector-specific uh, startup support scheme or something like that? So actually, my idea is you, you see now there are uh, certain challenges we are uh, meeting in our daily life. Yeah. Say for example, how far we have reached the technology to the benefit of the rural poor to the farmers okay. and to the less privileged people. That's an area we need to think. Yeah. And if you take, for example, any department, they'll be having certain problems yeah. without solutions. That kind of things, you know, we can identify and we can solve through uh, uh, technology. Yeah. So we need to formulate certain policies in such a way that we can conduct more hackathon kind of thing yeah. or find out problems and give to the students so that they will also get motivated. Their creative minds can be properly uh, uh, taped yeah. so that they will also, um, uh, what I say, get uh, motivated and they will contribute yes. in a much better way. And we are looking into it. We have conducted a lot of programs and that uh, came out uh, fantastically. Okay, so in the coming days, we'll be um, conducting more kind of uh, programs such as uh, to one side to provide solutions and the other side to motivate the um, young people. We are going to um, uh, start a IT hub, yeah. technology hub. Oh, great. That's going to deal with the deep technologies and emerging technologies. Great, great. And there are a lot of innovations happening in that uh, areas. Okay. So that will be our focus. Okay. So to the startups uh, in Tamil Nadu specifically, what is the promise the government is going to give in the coming future? Yeah, as far as Tamil Nadu government is concerned, we have certain programs with us already. And in the near, in the future, you know, we'll be able to give more kind of support like if they want to get accommodated in a place. Previously, we were uh, talk, thinking about the high, big, big companies. Now our focus is on uh, small startups, yeah. so that we are providing uh, even uh, plug-and-play facilities. Okay. Uh, we are tying up with the uh, um, research uh, institutes, and we are tying up uh, with them, with the investors, okay. those kind of things. So all these uh, venture capitalist kind of thing, all these things we are taking care. Right now you are in Kerala Pavilion <laughs> <laughs> and you have visited Kerala, the, the yes. Trivandrum Fab Lab and other facilities also. Mm. So how you evaluate our startups, the Kerala startups? Yeah, really Kerala is doing uh, good things yeah. with uh, regard to startups and all. 
I was uh, very much pleased when I went to Trivandrum and saw the startup uh, center there. I could understand the startup ecosystem that is coming up in uh, um, Kerala. I think it will be a milestone. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. And we are looking forward to uh, Tamil Nadu emerging as one of the greatest startup ecosystem in India. Okay. Thank you so much.